Hi, I'm Johnny Good. I'm the author of the new book, How to Make Masks, and I wanted to show you how I made this mask. It's a paper mache mask uh, made with a brand new recipe for the paste. It's a fast setting paper mache paste, and I'm using a really strong, stretchy paper, so I was able to use um, really big pieces of paper and it's so strong that you only need two layers in order to make this mask. Um, it's obviously really really stiff and it's nice and smooth on the inside so it would be um, easy to wear. I'm, I'm using this for a mask on my wall actually so um, I can't put it on <laughs> at the moment. I've got a, a hanger on there but um, but this is this is the way that all of the masks in my book were made. But this particular one is actually a variation um, of the Baja mask up there, the white one. So this one isn't in the book, but you can see how you can use the same methods and make your own designs. This one is a pantalone mask, which is a traditional theater mask from Italy. Um, it's a it's a traditional design that's been used for years, and it's been um, um, done in a whole variety of different ways, different colors, different noses, so <laughs> you can really play around with this. So let me get started. I want to show you how this was made. All of the masks that I show you how to do in the book are uh, built over a mask form and the features are made either out of Super Sculpey or modeling clay. You can use that over and over again uh, because the mold itself will actually be destroyed when you pull the uh, paper mache off of there. So each mask is going to be completely original. Then you apply the fast setting paper mache paste with an old brush and you put on the super strong uh, paper in large pieces and this will be done in just two uh, layers. Some things like that nose are going to be a little bit more difficult to do than big wide spaces but this still only takes a few minutes. Most of the actual creative work on these masks is done with the uh, modeling clay, which is much more intuitive to use than uh, paper mache is. Then you remove the uh, clay from the inside. Once the paper mache itself is dried, it takes maybe two to four hours if you put it in front of a fan to dry. And then you take a pair of old scissors and cut off all the extra uh, paper around the edges. Take some sandpaper and trim that off really nice so it's good and smooth. And after you've added some um, gesso to the dried paper mache, get it all nice and smoothed off with uh, just by doing some wet sanding, which is really easy, not messy at all. Um, just paint it any color you like, add your straps or your hanger, and it's done. So there you have it. It doesn't look too hard, does it? It, it comes out really nice. These would be great for masquerade balls or for Mardi Gras. Um, you could wear them for Halloween. It's not traditional for that, but why not? I mean, you know your mask. You can do anything you want to with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to check out my book, just check the link right below. Thanks. Bye-bye.